Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gon' talk. Is being sued of sexual assault in Miami Dade, according to the Miami New Times. A 54 year old Jane Doe has accused him of raping her on several occasions. The woman, who is not named, um, says these incidents occurred from 2020 to 2022 in St. Martin, Miami, and Atlanta. She claims that she met him in the summer of 2020. And allegedly, he took her on a vacation where he began to coerce her into having intercourse, and she gave and he gave her an ultimatum: have sex or get sent home. After that trip, they became a couple and dated for two years. But she says there was uh, constant abuse. Allegedly, she said that she would have to perform sexual acts on him at on him at her at against her will. And while staying at the Four Seasons, he forced her to give him oral sex in the elevator, according to her report. And also in an Uber as well. So she said she suffered from emotional and psychological harm and actually had to be admitted into a psychiatric ward after all of this. Here downtown, they just took Lil Reese to jail. He came out handcuffed, they had all his bags. So if anybody, Lil Reese people, y'all need to check on him. They just took him to jail. Uh, some dude came down, say, some woman say, lied on him or some shit. So. And it got any people, any Re Lil Reese people, the Grim Reaper people, they just took them to jail downtown LA and put them in a car. Y'all need to tap in with y'all people. Yo, check it, man. Hey, man, listen, man. I, I Listen, I've been looking at both of these. They both came up here in recent hours uh, earlier today. Um, and, and first of all, they charged Irv Gotti with something that happened in 2020. Um, the lady comes forward, man. And I, like I said, I, I, I first want to say, I don't agree with no woman being taken advantage of that. No man putting his hands on no woman. Uh, and when she don't want him to, I don't, I don't agree with none of that. Um, but these are all alleged until, you know, uh, the, every, the evidence goes through. So we're, we get all this stuff at the preliminary stages of, it, and then we have to try to come up with ways to defame these characters of each individual, whether it be the victim or whether it be the one who's pretty much giving the ultimatum of, hey, man, I'm calling the police. But it tripped me out that both of these came up today. Lil Reese's was a little different. I just wanted to talk about both of them uh, for a minute. You know, when you think about, uh, like I said, the one I the first recording came from Angela Yee uh, way up. Uh, she reported on it and I, there's been numerous people reported on it. 50 Cent also spoke on it. So there's just been a lot of different things going on. Uh, when I say spoke on it, he posted on it uh, on Irv Gotti. Um, like I said, the Irv Gotti thing, man, is an older one. Uh, the Little Reese's one is kind of different because it happened at a hotel in L.A. Labusi just spoke on it. And on Saturday night, he's saying that y'all need to call Little Reese people because this lady down here is saying that he's sexually assaulted her. And she she went over to his room, evidently, allegedly on a date at 3.30 in the morning. She calls the police. She come down and say he raped her after going over to his hotel. I don't agree with nothing where it's forced. But is this something to think about? Why is, why is she over there at three thirty in the morning? I don't get it. It's so cloudy to me. So I wanted to talk to OG Pyru and I wanted to talk to uh, Reality TV. Get it from a woman and a man perspective. Uh, let's get into it. Hey, uh, are y'all there? Yes, sir. Hey, what's going on? And I guess I guess I'll let with with uh, Reality TV being a woman, let her speak on it first because. Uh, uh, yeah, go ahead, uh, uh, Reality TV. You already know this man is not going to let Go get to the point. Go ahead, go ahead. Anyway, don't start with me today. But um, I'm playing this. Um, women, we have to be uh, mindful of the things that we do, no matter who the person is, okay? Just because they got money don't mean that they won't take the coochie because I feel like a lot of men that have money and power like that, they, a lot of them feel like they're obligated, you know, like most men feel like if they spend some money on you anyway, or you go to their room, you're supposed to give up the coochie. Okay. So you, you have to be mindful yourself of what kind of predicaments that you put yourself in. Okay. I'm going to say that from a woman's perspective. 
But don't hit OG. No, no, and, and and that's on both cases. Are uh, you speaking on Lil Reese and and Bo and, and uh, 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 Irv Gotti? Well, Irv, Irv Gotti, the, the girl, she had a chance to get away because she said that he tried to send her home. You know, because she wouldn't have sex. That was her time. Well, they did it in the Uber. It was a relationship. Seems she stayed. But no, it started off. They was dating first, and they went on the trip. And he tried to force himself up on her first. No, no, he didn't. He told he told her if she didn't want to have sex, she could go, go home. home. Women, well, women always talk about their right to choose. She should have chose her right and went there alone. But so but that's what I'm saying. She, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, reality TV. Let, let OG Pyro speak. OG Pyro gonna have a lot to say. She willingly had sex with him. She had sex. Hold on, reality TV. Let him speak. Miss Reality? No, but, I mean, I was just being, I was saying that she had the opportunity to lead the situation, but she chose to stay in it. So yeah, okay. So you, how you, how how do females think they can backpedal? You came in with nothing. You came to the party. You were offered your dance. You have the right, a Roe versus versus Wade. You have the right to do what you want to do with your body. She wasn't a virgin when she came in the room. She had been sucking way before Irv Gotti. So now she sucked it in in an Uber. And so, oh, yeah, uh, now you're going to wait three years and talk about you was going to the crazy house anyways. You probably been before you met Irv Gotti. So these women with their double standards, and now it's coming in, they, you know, they, uh, okay, I can get a, a rapper or I can get an entertainer in white America. And the first thing, oh, yeah, I mean, they, nobody has the right to do, if you, if you play, you pay, no matter what it is. If I take you out to dinner, if I do all this and you do nothing, if all you got is pussy, that's what you need to give. If you don't want to, if you don't want to have sex, you should pay pay the bill your damn self. Don't think you can get all the pleasure and don't get none of the pain. Wow. <laughs> now, hold on, hold on, Real TV. Also, uh, what do you, uh, and I have to ask your thoughts on this, OG Pyru, uh, of of the lady that went over to Lil Reese's room in LA at three thirty in the morning. I know Mike Tyson had a similar ordeal when similar, he a, a similar case. Never looked at the look, the girl had a curfew. She wasn't even supposed to be in the room, and she was in the room and sent him to prison. So we we don't never look at the what was she doing going to his room at three o'clock in the morning? She, she didn't bring nothing, so oh she was sexually assaulted. I so we go to the room to just watch Netflix and chill. She knew what she was doing when she got there. She just didn't get paid the way she wanted, and but she that's felt. Why I say, but I, that's why I say you. But don't defend it. Uh, make a ace a ace. Them hoes is hoes, and they if they get your chain. Who defended me? You are? What? When? Oh, she could have. She could have chose. No, she shouldn't have went there. How? All, all them damn gold diggers and. What? Okay, I, well, okay. I never defended it. I just, okay. I just told the women to be mindful of what they be do. mindful of. What they are mindful. They think that we. They think all of us uh, uh, brothers are suckers. No, and what I'm think, saying and, is, no. What I'm saying. What I'm saying is is. Being mindful of what you're doing. If you go, if you decide to go to a room with a man, of course, something a, a man is expecting something. You, That's what I'm you, saying. And, and she was mindful when she went there. Now she thinks she can clout chase. Now it's just like drive bys or high speed chases. All these tramps. It's got oh, I was sexually abused. I I'm did not something saying, against my. No, if, I'm not saying it. But I'm saying that's what she's claiming. I'm not because I'm a woman and I know how men are. I'm coming from a woman's perspective. That's why I say you have to be... How are men? Wait a minute. If you're a woman, you know how women are. You know how dirty y'all are. I do. <laughs> okay, so don't, don't say how men are. You know how dirty you women are and, and got I'm so many shenanigans. So don't talk about, oh, you have a, you need to be mindful. That's what they went in there with a point to beat somebody out. And if somebody stick they and thing they in your mouth, that's why you got teeth. You should have bit him. Hey, but let me let me ask y'all this. Let me ask you this. Hold on, hold, hold on, Real TV. Like, so the look, the, the, the you think the Irv Gotti one is a money grab for us for her coming back 
since 2020 to 2024. Now she's pushing these charges. She had to do this in the back of the Uber, you know, even though she did throw in the fact that she was told if she didn't perform these sexual duties that she would have to be sent out. She couldn't stay. And and I mean, this sounds harsh, but as you say, OG Pyru, this was an opportunity for her to leave at that point. But it still doesn't uh, uh, this still doesn't justify the fact of somebody forcing themselves on you. But you, right. you wasn't there. You wasn't there. Then she said she was forced. Irv Gotti and didn't say. Was, yeah, Irv Gotti hadn't hey, spoken out on it yet. Yeah, I, I, I don't believe. I was, yes, I was. I was with Irv Gotti. I was. I was with Irv Gotti with, with Bobby Brown when when Ja Rule did when Irv, when uh, Bobby Brown and Ja Rule did that video. Irv Gotti was with Irv Gotti got so many hoes. I was with Bobby Brown and Ja Rule got so many hoes. Irv Gotti got so many hoes. He ain't got the pick one. There's so many. What do you I, mean? Stop saying that. Stop saying just because a man got money, just yes, because that's all y'all want is money. No, yes, it, it do. A man would not. It don't mean a man would not take. It. Don't, don't take it. it. He, it take it. He ain't gotta take it. Look out. <laughs> hey, 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 listen, 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 guys, man. That that hey, listen, I will tell you something. This here ain't go in, okay? So I'm gonna have to end this interview, uh, this so-called review. I'm gonna have to end this review on the fact of okay, both of them, man, these are open cases, and we don't know, like I said, what's gonna become of them. Uh, Lil Reese said, you guys will see in the end, hey man, I didn't do this, and, and I want y'all to speak, have, keep that same energy that y'all had uh, when y'all started talking about it, uh, to accuse me of it, and then uh, also Irv Gotti, we don't know what he's going to say. He could have video footage. A lot of time these guys, because of all the stuff that's going on in 2020, there's, there's a chance he could have video footage and everything else, so we just going to have to see how this thing play out, man. Hey, I just want to say, man, hold on, you guys. I'm going to end this thing because, like I got to say, y'all ain't going to stop me. Man. And I know already that these people ain't gonna be able to understand what the heck is going on because emotions run high when a woman comes on here and then a brother comes on here who have been through situations and say, you know what, man, she lying. No, he lying. And I ain't gonna lie to you. Both of them could be lying. I don't really want you to end this because OG Pyru gonna rebut it. <laughs> no, I, ain't. I, said, I said my piece. And everybody know the truth is the light. That these money grabbing hoes is to get what they deserve, and it's about money. It ain't about relationship. If there was about relationship, they'd have went somewhere else. They was clout chasing, trying to get something for nothing, and now they turn around three. It's a statue of limitations on everything. All right, and I'm gonna let you say it. We gonna end this. What you got, reality TV? Okay, may every abuser be exposed. And that's all I gotta say. Wow. Hey, <laughs> hey, listen, man or woman. Okay, listen, guys. Thank you guys, man. Hey guys, make sure you like, subscribe to the channel. Make sure you guys get in the membership. Who do you agree with? Do you agree with OG Pyru? Or do you agree with uh reality TV? Uh this is coming from a woman and a man's perspective. Uh is Lil Reese uh guilty or is he innocent? Irv Gotti, was he wrong? He gave our opportunity, guys. Let us know in the comments what you think. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button also and make sure you share our interviews and our reviews because a lot of times they hide them. And also make sure you hit that notification bell right there, right there, right there. Hey man, it's been another great segment of Boss Talk 101. What a boss is talk. Uh, they better not come down Rosecrans. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, listen, man. Been another great segment of Boss Talk 101. What a boss is talk. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.